Hello everyone, this is Mandy. I am on my way to Camp Beagle and I'm going to be doing a demonstration. I might get arrested today but I don't really give a shit because I hate animal cruelty. So here we go. So we have arrived here and it's quite busy. Um, loads and loads of support happening, loads of police around as well, trying to keep us out of trouble. campaign like this in the animal rights movement for many many years Cheers, hon. but finally it's happening again right here at MBRB because it's right it should be here the scene of so many battles in the past it's right that this should be the place that reignites the animal rights movement and it's happening and it's gonna be a day that we'll all remember with pride and amazement when we're here on that day and we watch the gates open for the last time and the dogs come out. I want to make sure that each one of you here today is here on that day with your friends and we each get to hold one of those beagles before they go. And that... And that is what you've got to hold on to. Believe it because it's going to happen. Believe it because you're going to do it, and believe it because we won't be stopped. None of us are going to be, I won't be stopped, and I know none of you will be stopped. we have been involved in too many battles over too many years to stop now. And this campaign will mark a moment, not just in the history of our movement, but in the beginning of the end of the torturing animals in the name of scientific research. These battles have been raging now for years, for decades. But I don't know about you, I can sense at this time that something different is about to happen. Something very different is about to happen. The dream is about to be realised. And I know I'm like you. See what I mean? That's exactly what I mean. There was a woman turned up here yesterday with a 40 ton truck. When she heard, we thought the dogs were going out. Yeah. She turns her truck round, drives down here and parks in front of the gate. No, Yay! no not going out. Yeah. So I say to MBR, do you think you're going to stop us? You've got no chance. Yeah. No chance at all. So I also say to MBR, do the decent thing. Don't keep those dogs waiting in there. 
for the day of their liberation. Let it happen now. Make it known, we're going to give them up. We'll take them, they've got safe places to go. And do something decent. Instead of training in misery and suffering. The misery and suffering that you've been training on for decades and that now they can finally hear the people, the animal rights movement and the people of this country have had enough of. Yes. Enough of it. Those little dogs, those little dogs deserve better than this company of contract testing loads like Covance have given them. They deserve much, much better. And they've got away with it because the law has allowed them to get away with it. But I get the sense that even the police know that law is rotten to the core. Yeah. Yeah. Rotten to the core. Yeah. I've said it before and I'll say it again to the police. Stand aside and let those dogs out. Stand aside and let the people, on behalf of the animals, give them their freedom and the life that they deserve. Yeah. It's no good upholding a rotten law. Societies have done that in the past and been condemned for it. And they'll be condemned for it again if this is allowed to continue. So on behalf of everyone, you know, those of us who've been around a long time, all the new people that are coming here today, let's make history at MBR, right? Let's make sure that this place stands as a monument to the beginning of the end to animal suffering. And that each beagle that comes out here is a testament to your willingness to fight for these animals to sacrifice for these animals and to give everything you've got for them. Because I don't know about you, I can't think of anything more noble than a group of people like us giving those animals their freedom. There's nothing more noble. Oh. And that day is yours for the taking. Between us, we would achieve it. Freedom for the MBR Beagles. I'd just like to go back and go on to Bob Marley now. If you don't know your history, then you don't know where you're coming from. But we don't want to regurgitate the past. We're a movement. There's a clue in the name. We moved. And we've moved to this position. This is an extraordinary position. We've got power. We've got power. We've got people on our side. And it feels good. And we're not going to blow it. We're going to keep it. We're going to get stronger here. The next demo here is going to get bigger. A couple of things, please. You know what the police are like? They're born bullies. So when you all go and our numbers go down, basically, I can't put it any other way, they'll get an erection, as our bullies do, because they see a weak spot. Bullies, so give, please give this camp support. We are not going anywhere, right? So over the next month, come down here for a cup of tea, spend the night. One more thing. Can you feel what's happening? You know, like with this case. Yesterday the penny dropped. I think yes, you know, when in a community, once so many people in that, once so many percentage of people in that community, it's now become a community-based thing. So the the daytime security will be leaving and the nighttime security will be coming around. We don't know what time. Now we've got a strategy here, a divide and rule. We've got a working relationship with the security guards. We ask them not to work here. We ask them not to get their buses. They're on totally minimum wage, no contract work. They certainly don't run this company. So when the workers, with the security guards come in and out, we give them as little Process as we can. So really I'm asking you, like, scale it down. When the workers come in, let them in and let them out. You can talk to the security. And how useful is that? To be able to talk to the security. Security know the secret to this place. We are on the we are on the first name terms with the security. It doesn't matter if you don't understand it. We live here. Please you, you come and visit our camp today. So when the workers come in. Please, I don't want to see anyone blocking the workers. 
I was quite pleased when I got the megaphone before and asked people to let the workers out in. I was quite pleased at the lack of authority in our hand. But I've got pleased from the people in our camp. We have got no gripe with these security guards. If you want to come and talk to us, no one makes the sit. We don't answer to uh, social media. We don't answer to outside criticism. If you want to make a decision, you have to come and stay in our camp and come to our morning meeting. And then you'll have a say. This isn't my point of view. We're trying to build up an old thing of no gods, no masters, no leaders. So please, please, when they're here, however frustrated you might feel, don't take it out on these security guards. We've divided and rule. We speak the work, we treat the workers differently to the security guards. Hopefully you all understand that. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what do we want? Liberation. That was pathetic. What do we want? Animal liberation. You know, like in the school thing, a circus. What was it? What do we want? Animal liberation. Now. <laughs> Bloody well said there. Mm. Uh, it's nearly five o'clock now and I haven't actually been arrested yet. So it's a bit of a result at the moment. What's happening now? Security are changing over. The security are agency workers and they're nothing to do with the dogs. They're not even allowed in the shed. Uh, purely here to control the grounds. They don't give us any problems, we don't give them any problems. We already have to have a police presence here twice a day, every day, for the staff in and out, as you've seen. You can see why there has to be a police presence. We do not want to have, to have a police presence for times a day for the staff, but for the security guards to come in and out. So, please, would everybody very kindly allow the security to come out without a problem. You can hold your banners up, they're used to that. You can, you can tell them, you can tell them to quit. You can tell them, you know, don't do this anymore, get a better job. But please don't surround their car and, and, and require us to have a police presence here tomorrow. Because, you know, we don't want to deal with that. Thank you. Workers went at what? Ah, really? Because they just missed that, the staff went at one. So there's no staff on the premises? No, no, I was missed it. My voice is gone, but I just want to say this. To me, I had a feeling yesterday, I've been here since, well, you lose track of time, quite a long time now, or well, maybe I don't know. But man, we've been getting more and more support. And you know when so many percentage of other people in the community do something, the other's like, well, if they're with it, I'm with it. We're just getting massive local support now, you know. Uh, and the social media, the animal rights movement, but we, we've got the local people who are furious about the way that these people managed to hide themselves away for 50 years. They thought they'd been clever coming in and out, no one ever knew it. The secret's over, those days are over. Uh, the, the, people, the people from here want them out. They're not happy. And uh, we're getting loads of support, so bing bong. <laughs> So when this closes down, or the sooner it closes down, you don't have to come. Maybe you like coming out and socialising and getting out of the dog. Have you seen the footage? 
Do you feel any spite from any emotion? They're doing the swap, they're coming in and out. Excuse me, boy. I only say silly because it must be very quiet. Someone caught a woman. Shoving you. That face. day now um, we had a pretty good turnout uh, loads of photos on the um, Facebook page for Camp Beagle um, I'm so glad I went and it's for a very good cause and people are going to be campaigning outside until every last Beagle is free uh, thank you for watching thanks for everyone who came and I'll see you next time bye for now <laughs>